Today we are with the most valuable player, Luis Baez. Tell me, Luis, how was the ACAS tournament? The ACAS tournament was a good experience for our team because everyone was a good friendship and we all played good. <laughs> so tell me, as the most valuable player, how was the experience in the game? Well, the experience was, at the last minute it was intense, it was like tight and we all were nervous, had pressure and uh, I didn't know what to do so I just let me go. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Entonces Juan, ¿para cuándo empieza a terminar la construcción? Nosotros tenemos que terminar a Zaragoza. ¿Qué tú piensas de la construcción? ¿Cómo ha avanzado? Está bien, al principio duramos un poco más de lo esperado para empezar porque hay muchas decisiones, pero ya estamos aquí muy bien. Ya empezamos a poner los globos dentro, estamos empañetando. Dentro de un mes y pico empezamos a poner piso. O sea que ya creo que estamos bien para la fecha que, que estamos. And welcome back to this new segment of SES News. I'm James Sanchez, and these are the SES Soccer Girls Varsity Team Coaches, Ms. Oltoff and Ms. Branch. Uh, we're here to interview her about Copa Claro and how the girls are going to be facing other teams. So, Ms. Branch and Ms. Oltoff, uh, I've heard that like you guys are going to be facing a lot of games and competition of Copa Claro. And also, someone told me that you're like well with the teams, about you're gonna have missing players. So, what are your strategies and what are you looking forward to? Yeah, so between now and Sunday, we have two games of Copa Claro and at least four games for the ACAS tournament, which is a field tournament. So, it's gonna be a busy weekend for the girls. So, you guys can be praying for the depth, strength, and health. Um, and yeah, we are missing three starters, Sara, uh, Perea, Isabella Diaz, and Isabella Iglesias, who will be cheering us on in their hearts. Um, we've been sort of practicing and working on things um, for this eventuality for a few months to work with the girls on using, making the field feel smaller um, by using really tight triangle formation, and they've been doing a really good job of it. We got to practice that in a couple of games last week missing some key players in that game as well and they did really really well with the formations um and we have some newer players who are going to be stepping up um this weekend especially and uh, they've been practicing for a couple years for this opportunity and so we're really excited to see how they'll do um and the rest of the team has really um just kind of rallied around each other and um we're excited for the coming weekend, uh, we hope the girls are too. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Today is Wednesday, so all the seniors have returned from the senior trip uh, successfully. So here we are with Carlos Portella. And what's your name? Rosette Abreu. And Rosette Abreu. And we're just here to ask them a few questions so you guys get to know what um, the experience of Disney was like for us. So, talk to me about your experience in Disney. My experience in Disney was super fun. I spent a lot of time with my friends and we got on every roller coaster. It was amazing. Um, it was very fun because the roller coasters were very fast and the food was really really good and 
It was really, really, really fun. What was your favorite ride? My favorite ride was Jurassic Park because it was super fun. And my favorite ride was the red one. <laughs> we drank a lot of water and we ate healthy. I drank a lot of water too because um, I heard you were on a diet. Yeah. Me too. Oh, thank you guys with our time here with our friends. Have a good one.